Hello everyone. In this video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to create a chrome effect uh, for your vehicle's paint in Photoshop. Now this particular version here I'm using is uh, CS5 on a Mac operating system. Uh, this also does apply to the Windows version of Photoshop as well as previous versions to CS5. First what we want to start by doing is making a copy of your background layer. Now you can do this by just clicking on the background layer, dragging it all the way down, and it will create a new layer. Uh, now what I'll do just to uh, uh, reduce any complications here, I'll just relabel this to uh, body because that is the only part we'll be keeping of the image itself. Now turning this layer off here and selecting the body layer, selecting our marquee tool here, we'll just go around and start by deleting any of the background. So once you have a selection, you just press delete. And then you keep going all the way around. You can continue on and do the bottom and the other side. Now, now just to zoom in here, start by taking some pieces away of the vehicle here. Next what we'll do here is our select our lasso polygonal tool. We'll actually go around here and delete around the image itself. Just any areas we actually don't want chromed of the vehicle. And then we'll continue to do the same thing with any of the windows of the vehicle itself or any of the trim or uh, light pieces or any other uh, emblems or plastic pieces of the vehicle that you don't want chrome. Like so, just an example there. Keep going around until I've already actually done this ahead of time here just to show you what it looks like. So you should actually be left with something that looks like that here. So once I bring the background layer back up here, I just overlay right on top. I'm making sure you have the body layer selected. You want to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Exposure. Now there's going to be two parts of this, but first we'll be hitting with Exposure. So once you click on this here, let's move this off the side here so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, you want to increase the exposure of the layer itself here. You can do a little experiment, you can drag the bar a little bit to whatever selected preference you want. And then you want to do a little bit of a gamma correction, which will actually um, fix up the dark spots a little bit. As you can see there. So you should be left with something like that. Now, just to go back for a little added uh, effect, we'll go back to image, adjustments again and brightness and contrast. Now with the brightness and contrast you can actually adjust uh, the darkness of the uh, the chrome area so where the shades actually occur and stuff like that. So you kind of gives it a little more shine, kind of clears it up a little bit and then you can darken it up with the brightness depending how you feel or you can lighten it up if you want. Now this all depends on personal preference. Now once you're done you should have something that looks like that. Now you can see the vehicle does also have chrome rims on it, so you can kind of get a comparison of what the uh, the body looks like compared to the chrome on the rims itself. You can see it does look fairly realistic. So just do a comparison with uh, what it looks like with chrome here, and then turn the layer off. You see the black car. Turn it back on. And there you have it. Now this is it for my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them. Also, please subscribe to my channel and rate this video. Thank you.